Am I doing enough to prepare for the arrival of our Lord? This is a reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Do you know the conversion story of Father Donald Calloway? Heroin, cocaine, opium, marijuana, excessive alcohol, not to mention hallucinogenic drugs like mushrooms, psilocybin, and LSD. He consumed most of these before the age of 18, many before he turned 14. The addictions growing stronger as the existential emptiness deepened. As the destructive youth, Calloway spent his adolescence succumbing to temptations large and small, from sins of the flesh, with constant promiscuity, to crimes against the law, with thousands of dollars of grand theft and stolen merchandise, as well as nightly partying with friends, consuming all forms of drugs and addictives while listening to heavy metal music. At one point, Calloway became a follower of the rock band The Grateful Dead, inspiring entrance into psychedelic culture, which, among other things, left him with Big Grateful Dead tattoo on his arm. To this day he has it as a remembrance of the past he lived, the past he left. During his youth, Calloway was such an angry and rebellious kid that he names a chapter in his book, Animal, in describing himself, his early mentality, his vicious ways. His family, especially his parents, suffered great emotional trauma as a result of their son's behavior. For a while, they lived on a military base in Japan, for Calloway's stepfather was an officer. This didn't last too long. Running around with Japanese gangs, stealing tens of thousands of dollars in merchandise from electric guitars to cars, got young Donald Calloway arrested and deported from the country. He was escorted to the airport by military guards with chains and shackles around his hands and feet while he spat at his captors and threw out verbal obscenities to surrounding pedestrians, angrily cursing his way onto the plane. After returning from Japan and checking into an ineffective rehabilitation clinic in Pennsylvania, things did not get any better. For years, the drugs continued, so did the promiscuity, the theft, and another arrest. On one occasion, he even found himself in a crack house, crawling around on the rug on his hands and knees, looking for any cocaine that might have fallen on the floor. So what on earth could have turned this rebellious youth, this struggling addict, this animal, as he later described himself, into a devout Catholic priest, not to mention into an eloquent author of books on theology and Mariology? It all began one night. In March 1992, when to the surprise of his friends, Donald decided not to go out partying, as was the usual routine, but to stay at home for the night. He felt immensely depressed, a longing and emptiness occupied his very being. He found himself sitting there alone in his room with nothing to do and no one to turn to. His life was a waste, and he was hoping it would somehow come to an end. He hated his life. Looking for a way to fill the time, he began browsing his parents' bookshelf, not to find anything to read, but preferably land on a National Geographic for the pictures. Instead, his hand landed on something else, an ad book about a subject so alien and obscure to the teenager that was intriguing enough to read. The book was called The Queen of Peace Visits Medjugorje. It was the story of the Marian apparitions in Medjugorje which brought on the crisis of his conversion. He spent the whole night reading the book until the early hours of the morning. In the process, the inner beings of his soul were transformed from the anxiousness and restlessness he previously experienced to a deep serenity and peace that radiated and pervaded his spirit. Then a new day came. Early in the morning, when he closed the book, he said, the message in this book is life-changing. 
I have never ever heard anything so amazing and convincing and so needed in my life. Whoever this Virgin Mary was, he believed what she was saying, that she was his mother who came from heaven for him. Instantly after telling his overwhelmed mother about the experience, Donald, though not a Catholic yet, ran off to Mass for the first time in his life, speaking to a priest afterwards, confessing his entire past to the man. When he came back home, Donald began throwing out all of his filthy possessions from his past life, from drug paraphernalia to pornographic magazines, ranging from his Playboy and penthouse collections to his very metal records and his water bongs and pipes. Six 30-gallon bags were the result. The former drug addict, convicted criminal, and high school dropout graduated summa cum laude with an advanced degree, studying with some of the most renowned theologians in the world, Scott Hahn, Mark Miravel, Father Luigi Gambero, and Father Iman Carroll, and publishing his work into a book about mother, the mother of God. Today, Father Calloway is the house superior for the Marians of the Immaculate Conception and their vocations director. He preaches his story throughout the world, reaching countless of hearts. The Gospel today invites us to prepare our hearts for the arrival of our Lord Jesus, to embrace humility, repentance, and readiness to receive the grace and salvation that Jesus brings, just like the conversion story of Father Donald Calloway. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving us unconditionally, for suffering, dying on the cross, and for your resurrection and ascension. Please forgive us when we choose to ignore your invitation to open our hearts to you, Lord Jesus. We humbly ask you for your grace to give us the, a contrite heart to turn away from our old sinful ways and to follow the will of Jesus. Read in me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, Holy Spirit, that my work to may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love at what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>